Hey there, let's take a look at some accents. So what's the deal with accents? Well, simple line, accents are louder than the notes around them, right? That's what an accent is. Actually, an accent stands out from the notes around it. And there's other ways to make that happen. But most commonly, and what we're talking about here, is that they are louder. Here's the trick with accents. It's not so much, it's not only that the note, the accented note is louder, but it's also that the unaccented notes are much quieter. And that's the exercise for today. So this is Dorn's Southern Dance. So here's what happens. We have, this is an accent sign, right? And so these notes need to be loud. Every, they need to stand out. The way to do that, especially whenever there are other notes very close by, like this is only a half step away, right? Um, this note down here. The way to do that is to make the other ones really quiet. That's actually more useful on guitar than trying to just play out a note louder. Because normally, if we're playing at, say, 60% of our, our full volume, and then we bump it up to 80%, it's not that big of a difference, right? But if that 80% is contrasted with 30% or 20% of our volume, well, then it really stands out. We get contrast, and contrast is the name of the game with accent. So here, that's what we're looking for. Here we have a double line. So there's two lines of music right here. So whenever you're doing anything, I would recommend to play these note lines separately first so that you can just know what's going on. So we have A, and then really quiet, really contrasted, loud, now as soft as you can. Now as loud as you can. Now as soft as you can. Now as loud as you can. And then on. So then what well, then you can play the other line, you can play them together without the accent if you would like to. So now that you know the notes, assuming that you go through, you know the notes, now we need to do this. One of the easiest ways to make this happen is to stop. Play one note loud and stop. And just to say, if you can balance the top note louder than the bottom note, do. If you've worked on that, um, then make it to where the top note comes out. If you haven't done that yet, don't worry about it. Just play the notes but loud. Make sure to nice, use nice technique, everything else. Stop, and then go to the next note. Take as long as you need to be able to reset your physiology and anything that you need to play these next two notes very quietly. And now get to the next note and play it very loudly. And then the next note, reset your physiology. Do whatever you need to do so that you can play it quietly. And then again, so, make a stop. Instead, so instead of ba da da da, and then just try to get those couple of notes to pop out. Instead, think thing, 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 thing. Loud, different thing, quiet. Different thing, loud. Different thing, quiet. Different thing, loud. Different thing, quiet. Quiet, quiet, loud. So that's the goal with the accent. So when, once you finish this, once you get this done and can play it in time, smoothly, legato, everything else. Loud, soft. Just so you know, it's normally the note right after the accent that is that is the problem note. And for this first bar, that would be beats two and four. This is what to watch out for. This is what to watch out for. The accents are easy. You just play them loud. It's the other ones that are going to be difficult because they're going to want to, they're going to want to get louder. They're going to want to, um, especially when things are moving fast and you just want notes to pop out. It's the note right after the accent that tends to kind of blend into the accent as far as the volume goes. So instead you want to create stark contrast between note, between accented and unaccented. Really stark. Like how quietly can you play? 
play the unaccented notes. Like, can you do the whole thing? You're really quiet. How quietly can you play it? Then can you just bring out one note here and there? All right, tricky stuff, but really worth the practice. I was playing a little bit fast there, but I would really take your time so that you can Choose the volume of the second and fourth notes in the first bar and play those very quietly. Get the contrast really black and white instead of wishy-washy between the two. All right. Good luck. Have fun. And we'll do it again soon. Bye-bye.